We go up to the booth now, Joe Buck, Hall of Famer Troy Aikman. And gentlemen, when we talked pregame, we thought that this might be one of those games, right? That one of those rivalry games that's intense back and forth. It certainly was. The Hail Mary from Rodgers right before the half allows the Jets to creep closer. Ultimately, they tie it, some missed field goals. And in the end, Joe, Buffalo wins this game. They leave here atop the AFC East. Does that feel like the appropriate outcome based on the way the game was played tonight to your eyes? Yeah, I mean, you know, they ended up with more points than the other team, so they win. <laughs> um, you know, it was getting bogged down in the red zone. Right. Mistakes by the Jets, the two missed field goals, including one that was kind of a chip shot for one of the game's best in Greg Zerline. So, yeah, I mean, you know, they made plays. Taylor Rapp made plays. Taron Johnson made that play with a pick. And that's how you win football games in the NFL. So they walk out of here at four and two. And the Jets now have lost three in a row. And they're going to talk about it's a long season. And it is. Uh, but after all these changes, it's kind of the same frustrating result for the New York Jets. Although I thought the offense looked a lot better here tonight. I guess, Troy, what I'm getting at there is, and to what Joe's alluding to, great teams figure out ways to win games and mediocre and poor teams figure out ways to lose them. I'm not saying the Jets are mediocre or poor, but they are two and four, and Buffalo's able to get the victory. I, Joe's right. The Jets look better. But what's Buffalo build on off of this victory after the last two games went the wrong way for them on the road? Well, for Buffalo, it's not easy to win on the road, as we know, and you're playing a division rival. You're playing for... Uh, first place within the division. So there, regardless of whatever it looked like for Buffalo or whatever you try to take away from and say, hey, we can do this better. What, you know, you, you want a you want a big game, a primetime game uh, on Monday night that gets you atop the division. So it's a it's a huge win for them and they'll continue to build on that. So it's a good situation for them on the jet for the Jets. On the other hand, as I said at the at the end of the game that you know, I don't know where they go from here, quite honestly, Scott, because you know this week with all the changes and then you do you have some momentum coming in you start to do some things better than what you had done them and and we see that from time to time when an interim head coach takes over and how a team might respond to that but to lose the game the way they did with the penalties and the missed field goals and not capitalizing in the red zone and uh, all those things I just think it's going to be really hard on them. Short week now. Uh, I could see this totally unraveling. Maybe that won't happen. I know the players won't agree with that, but I could see it happening because I think they put so much into this week to winning a game and getting back on track, and the owner says this is the best team he's had in 25 years, all those things. But they didn't get it done, and so they're right back where they were, and uh, the, now, they, now what's the answer for them? They don't have it. Yeah, and it's magnified because it comes against a uh, an AFC East division rival, clearly, and Buffalo leaves here 4-2. Gentlemen, appreciate the time. Travel well. Look forward to next week. It's Tampa and Baltimore. Should be a great game. Great one. Yeah, Thanks, it'll be Scott. fun. Thanks, Scott.